fellow Shadow Warriors, I'm Matthew, don't call me that, and uh, by the time you watch this video, Shadow Warrior 3 will 99.9% be revealed at Devolver's show, you know what, maybe like 50% revealed at Devolver's show. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure when this video is actually going to go out, but um, I'd like to think it'll be in and around that neighborhood, maybe I'll time it so this video goes out the day uh, that that game is revealed to fool people into thinking I somehow have early access when I in fact do not. But um, I've been meaning to come back to this game for uh, a, a while. I've been it when it was new. This is from 2013. Um, and I'm just going to say it right here. Maybe controversial. Maybe a, a warm take. But um, this Shadow Warrior reboot walked so Doom 2016 could run. And for those that don't remember how this game ran <laughs> it is it is a lot like uh doom 2016 uh we'll we'll see that when we get to the mechanics yeah these fancy prologues because it's cinematic mr two million dollars which isn't a lot you know considering since like one guy in the world owns like eighty thousand percent of all wealth oh shit please don't trip oh god i don't want to have to skip this Okay, I'll, I'll upload two versions and see which one trips, because I don't want to have to fast forward through the touch. You have a sword in your car, Lo Wang. Apply the touch. You obviously like swords. Oh jeez, he's turning it up! Oh no! So how do you take a character like Lo Wang from 1997, who is incredibly racist caricature, of Asian stereotypes and, and how do you update him? Well, you just make him Asian and then you just make him like an 80s action hero. Like he's just Duke Nukem. You know what I mean? That's all you really have to do. So, so you just take all of the, all of the bad stuff about him and, and then just not have it in there. It's, it's, it's all it takes. Ah, uh, that, that summer memory of Cicadas going to this opulent mansion. I remember those those glory days of mine. So look at this. I this game still looks amazing to me. I don't know. I'm just saying. So yeah, there's there's some, the, like you know settings like this in games are still not used a whole lot. I find except for when uh, occasionally it's like Ghost of Tsushima or Sekiro and this, and and that's about it. Um, but there's look look at the warmness that you feel going under here because of the way the colors are used. You just, oh, this is so nice. This will belie the bloodshed that will be to follow. There's just something so serene. This this st stuck out at me when this game had come out. And I was playing it on my old laptop, which I don't have anymore. This is a new PC, so it's nice to, to look at this game again. And we're going to talk about stuff, because there's some stuff to talk about. The Shadow Warrior reboots and the Shadow Warrior reboots sequels. Since 3 may or may not be um, announced by the time you see this video... I'll just talk about what I sort of am looking forward to in that. Uh, sorry, I just want to waste time as I look around. But gotta look at the bunnies. Or sorry, the bunny. Singular. He's looking for another bunny to plow. Look. Like his radar is going off. He's like over there? No? Maybe in the bamboo thicket? No. Oh well. I still don't know how this deal happened. Where Devolver got the rights to Shadow Warrior, but not Apogee. I mean, they did really re-release the... No, wait, Devolver put out those uh, Shadow Warrior classic reduxes on Steam. So I don't know what's the, what, what the deal is with this one. I, I don't know how... They, I guess they just bought it in a sale? Apogee was just selling franchises out of the back of their car? Now let's get down to business. Is there something behind the waterfall? Yes, there is. Pixelot, huh? How avant-garde. And much like... Wait, no, you know what? This did come out like a year before Wolfenstein the New Order even. So this whole, hey, let's go into some old level shit, I guess it started with Shadow Warrior. What does this guy do? I think we use him to level up. It's just money. Okay, fine. I guess that little guy was the god of money. Let's just zip on over to... Not Zilla. I was kind of like, I remember being confused, like, oh, they were going to go see Zilla? No, wait, we're working for Zilla. Which is interesting because Shadow Warrior, like the original game, yeah, I think Lo Wang did work as an assassin. Uh, Lo Wang was working as an assassin for Zilla, our big bad, our Dr. Proton. Um, 
and the game already was like, oh, he is already betrayed and, and hates Lo Wang, and that's when that game starts up. But this at least shows some of the lead up to that, which is neat. Oh, we gotta get the show on the road. I would give this game in general, I'd say a 7.9 on the Wangometer. I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit later, but like the first couple of levels of this game, amazing, fantastic, eh, less so as it goes on. Nice fedora, nerd. Who do you work for? <sighs> Mickey Mouse, Mickey Rourke, does it matter? It'd be so sick if it turns out he did work for Rourke. Ninja style, motherfuckers. Let's make a deal. Oh, I always hope he was gonna say, let's get, let's get serious. Who's your daddy? That's some generic ass shit they're yelling at me. Would these Yakuza's really be saying, calling me a monkey fucker and ask who my daddy is? I'll throw some shurikens just for funikins. This is where you fall down. Good stuff. These dudes are just kind of sitting there, I guess. These are not the most accurate, un unlike the shurikens in the original game. Oh shit! Sometimes you just want to play around with this, with the sword. Just no, you know, not taking it seriously. Just you know, just very relaxed, casual. Oh my god, that was amazing. All right, gotta follow Miyazaki and tell him to stop being so mean to his son Goro. Business is good. Business is good. We gotta do some business. Where do you not want to do business? I am asking that myself too. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Make him goofy, but in a fun way. Playfully. You know, Flying Wild Hog, uh, w one of the very many talented uh, developers that make incredibly violent, mature games in Poland, um, were like, how about we have a game where you have a sword and you chop motherfuckers up? And then I guess Devolver was like, hey, we bought this franchise. We didn't even know how we got it. We just, we just have it. Sure, let's just do that. And that's how the deal was done. Oh. Ah, my mind! You took a memory from my mind palace! Bring him in. Ugh. I can just look at my chiseled belly. Hush now. The grown ups are talking. Turn Mr. Zilla back on. Aww. I mean, I, he's not wrong. Jeez, how old is that TV? Fucking tube. Stop injecting me with things! Jesus! These are almost always silly. A, like, asshole. C, like, champion. I have a championship asshole? <laughs> Look at this cage. Cutting edge technology. Later in the day, demons. Right. You know, cloudy with a chance of a demonic invasion. Oh, oh man, I'm, I am well rested. That's the glowiest sword that's ever glowed. Still very pretty out here. It's not that bad being in this bamboo prison. I mean, I'm pretty sure me being like a martial arts master, I could just break this apart, but why don't I pick up this sword? It's a personal weapon. Sword. For when you want to make it personal. Hey, clap everyone, that's a Shadow Warrior thing. All right, so now we actually have a weapon and can go outside. And it got my dashes. I got everything I need. And what's nice is a holding down dash makes this very nice run. There's a stamina meter, which is that red goo outside of my red goo health. Key cards. You know, you know, an FPS has its heart in the right place where they're just like, yeah, it's a key card, dude, just deal with it. What's that? You want me to take this? <laughs> well, I guess it's dangerous to go alone. Video game references. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll find out more later. I remember this pistol kind of being not amazing, but maybe I... Uh, oh, that that is really convenient. I forgot about this. You always have a melee strike on hand, uh, uh, even if you're holding... I'm not sure if it's holding every weapon, but it's it's a lot of them. Oh, that that's just the color I needed. A lot of looting in this, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about Shadow Warrior 2 in a second. I kind of liked both this and the second game equally in that one does certain things the other doesn't and vice versa and if they were to make it's just theoretical just throwing it out there and, and you know when I throw stuff out there it's not always going to be gold it's going to be you know bronze at most but um I would love a Shadow Warrior 3 to be a combination of of this one and two so there's some demons you feel lucky chump I mean punk so this is a very this is a fairly linear game. Uh, it's level based. Uh, you can't return to levels you've seen before and stuff. So it, it's a straight up first person shooter. 
of of the uh, older style. The second one was a Borderlands. It was straight up a Borderlands quest givers, uh, you know, on, online and local. I know maybe it was just online co-op, online co-op, spongy enemies, um, and and dozens and dozens of weapons, and. For that type of game, I liked it. I was like, well, if I want to play a Borderlands game, but I obviously I don't want to play Borderlands, but I want to play something in that style, I'll, I'll play Shadow Warrior 2. And a lot of people were like, no, I don't really want that, which I totally get. Um, this game, though, goes on way, way too long with not that much to do. Uh, I find personally like I had maxed out my character I'd given him everything I, I wanted to give and there was just nothing new no new weapons really really happening after like I still had hours left in the game and I was kind of like I'm kind of bored now but like getting the way there I was I was still having lots of fun Ugh. and it's a lot of demon killing from here on I think we fight some Yakuza maybe once or twice I, I'm trying to remember but that's what Shadow Warrior is really all about just literally uh, and killing every demonic enemy you could ever think of because uh, the enemy variety in, in the first game the very first one uh, I always really liked there's a lot of fun enemies in it. Um, it can I get a decapitated head of a demon and use it hey where are you going buddy and that's a heart Demon Heart, she's achieving over so that to kill all lesser demons in six meters of you. Yeah! So it used to be Ripper Hearts, I'm trying to remember, and that created a clone of Lo Wang that could fight alongside you. And this one just kind of creates an area of effect and just destroys demons for the most part. Just kind of neat. So in Shadow Warrior 2, there was like a lot, and I mean a lot of kind of grindy combat. Um, a lot of uh, levels that repeated themselves, uh, uh, tile sets, I should say. And. I was still like fine with it, and but then I, I'm like I saw that yeah I, I really wish this could be expanded upon and I but I love all these weapons they had so many awesome weapons in in the game and like there's some superfluous ones for sure so if they went back to a linear style with like levels and you know secrets to find um, but had all the weapon variety and all the moves and skill sets and, and, and skill trees that you can, there's so much that you can unlock to have Lo Wang do. I think that would be a pretty fucking sweet, have a co-op mode as a separate thing, but I think that would be an awesome third game in this weird reboot trilogy. You gotta heal yourself when, when you have the chi to do it. A lot, lot of burnt dead people in this dojo. Yeah, you can still, like, slice them up a little bit. I, I don't think they actually lose their legs, because they're, they're hard-coded into this floor. Ah, oh, so glad to be out of there. Whew. A spooky flashlight for the, like, one or two levels where you're kind of in a dark place. Uh -huh. Wow, really? That didn't kill you? I'm actually super, super surprised. Yeah. Man, this I think this has been described this game, this franchise, this rebooted franchise, as as close as Devolver will ever get to AAA. And I think that's a little unfair. I I I think there's some indie games that have a triple A polish to them, certainly. Uh, you know, Ruiner, um, Metal Wolf Chaos, The Messenger, there there's stuff certainly. Katana Zero I mean, come on. Man, the shuriken suck. I'm not even sure if that's something that you can even upgrade. I kind of forget. Pretty sure I got them all. They're fairly chopped up. Wait, what? There you go. Oh, shit! Oh, right, I forgot. Sometimes they leave souls behind. They can actually heal you. Because I'm the soul reaver, I guess. I guess I have to do some Devil May Cry style combat to unlock that. I got some karma. I don't know if it's good or bad karma, but I got it. Oh, right. Whenever you see these, you can actually get a move. Oh, I want to do that. I want to do that bad. And here is our, like, level up menu. So there's Katana Mastery, Knowledge, Movement, Luck, Mind, and Heart. Go Planet! By your powers combined, I am Captain Planet! I just kind of find, in my personal experience, when I was going through this game the first time, like, I had leveled up everything I wanted and there was still like hours and hours of game left and I was just like oh I'm 
I'm not getting anything new or anything that's very interesting. So that's kind of my big knock against this game. And some levels just kind of drag on. Some of the boss fights are not very good. Uh, and that's about it. Other than that, I still really enjoy this for the, you know, overall. And bam! Stabbing my sword forward. That's, I never could have thought of this. I, I, there needs to be more bamboo forests in games. I just think it's such a cool visual. It reminds me of Ninja Scroll. Ugh. Shredder. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Give me weird skeletons. Again, I'm assuming a lot of you have not seen much of this game because it was kind of... I think it, like, did well for Devolver, obviously, enough for them to do a sequel. I still feel someone in there. Well, no, now he doesn't feel anything. Ha ha! <laughs> oh, shit. References! That's some choppy-ass port of Hotline Miami right there. Hard reset, you know, for all three of you hard reset fans. I'm assuming Devolver's also gonna show off that Serious Sam game that's been in development like forever, like Planet Ass Kick, or, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Ooh! You don't need a parachute to skydive, you need a parachute to skydive twice. You don't need a parachute to skydive. You need a parachute to sky. I don't get it. I'm just gonna charge this up preemptively. You never know. Getting a little spooky. Just, you know, just saying. Look how cool this looks, though. Chalk full. 100% daily intake of chi. So, yeah, this is another menu uh, to level things up. Shockwave, the tiger's roar brings fear to all who hear it. Students of these techniques. I think this just you scream a bunch and enemies shit their pants. So this this is tiger roar. I mean it that's that's it. It just shoots like a psychic wave of energy and yeah, that's fine. That'll do. Oh this thing ha this thing's gotta go. Uh, well let's look at this just to see. That's what that does. And he said that's heartbreaking, cause, cause the heart. Okay, I think now we're back to the front of, of Miyazaki's house. And shit has gone poorly. So let's try the other power here. It kind of knocks them on their butts. And, and that's kind of it. Wow. Oh shit! I think this was the cage I was locked in earlier. Alright, all these barakas need to get out of my face. Are you a jobber? Do you have weird teeth? You're a baraka. That's very true. So I don't know what, there's this nice room. It's it's beautifully decorated. The rug really brings everything together. And there's just this skin body. Don't know what the situation was here, but yeah. It's nice. And this nice armchair to just look at the world. Amazing. All right, I think I've pilfered far enough. Where's my car? There it is. Please let it work. Just one problem. It is written that no human tongue can pronounce a demon's name. Troji. But it's impossible. How, how <laughs> what else does the prophecy say? Why, that that the one will also believe any goddamn idiot thing you make up on the spot. Alright, let's get the car running. Chapter 2, what profanity thing is this going to have? The party bus. That's still kind of profanity, depending on what type of party bus it is. Ah, oh, this place looks great. This place looks nice. It looks fun. I like to stay here. Everything looks cool. Something I have to look for is like there's this Godzilla reference that sometimes shows up in the game and sometimes it doesn't. Well, there's my boy. My boy's out there doing his thing. Just vibing. I love you, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> it looks so shit. Like, I know it can't be too distinct, because, like, Toho will sue the ever-loving crap out of you, but it's close enough. Godspeed. Uh, you see how cell shaded this is? Pretty sure this is a hard reset enemy that Flying Wild Hog were just like, ah, eh, fuck it. Oh, this is fun. More hard reset. The the three games Devolver owned at this point. I don't want to shoot any of these fun arcade machines because they explode real good. Disco is immortal. You cannot destroy it. You can't kill it no matter what. Oh, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ooh. 
Wow, Sirius M3 should not have been advertising that. Easy to get chlamydia and syphilis. Report unlicensed. Wow, okay, this arcade's getting weird. What's there he is again! Ah, uh, this is one of the most beautiful manga panels I've ever seen. Come on, there's gotta be a bunch of monsters showing up here. How could, how could they not? I'm waiting on you guys. There you go. Come out! Oh, I hate these dudes. Man, you know, I was kind of worried, like, oh, after playing Doom 2016 and, you know, uh, other FPSs that'll come out, I was going to go back to this and it'd be like, kind of like, eh. But no, this is still super, super fun. Okay, we'll, we'll destroy this, no problem. Where's my guy? Where's my boy? Where's, there's that boy! And that should do that? Okay, good. I'm just, I'm just glad. It's weird that we still haven't picked up, like, a machine gun or, or a shoddy yet, because the riot gun from the original, super good. One of my favorite shotguns. Check the police car for... I just as I say it. Ha! Cowabunga, assholes! Let's go! Yeah, cowabunga, that makes sense. Yeah, it's okay. I, I kind of like the dual Uzis from the first game a bit more, the same. Oh my god, you, you rabbits. You have to get out of the way. Why are there so many demons in apartments? Th did they get a really good rental, like, deal on this? There's not even any bodies in here. It's strange. Whoa. I'm an action man. Well, it was probably going to wind up like that eventually. Blow up. Come on. Come on. Blow up. Yeah, yeah. Blow up. More blow up. That's about as all blow up. Okay. How about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know what? This is a great time to stop. Uh, I have some of the things I wanted to record today because I actually played this way longer than, than I thought I, I would wind up. Um, I'm really looking forward to Shadow Warrior 3, uh, whatever that, that may or may not be. Um, it's a first person shooter, third person shooter either. I'm down. I'm down. To, I'm DTF. Um, except if it's like a visual novel. Or like a dating game. Ah, what the fuck, I'd still play that. You know, you know, uh, would anyone want to see more of this game? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do for you.